Hello, and welcome back to Type 1 Diabetes Explained. Today, we are going to talk about diabetic ketoacidosis. Now, it's not the most fun topic to discuss, but it is important to know about. To understand diabetic ketoacidosis, often abbreviated as DKA, it's important to understand how your cells behave. If your cells don't have enough glucose to provide them energy, then they're going to start burning fat for fuel. Now, this might seem like a good thing, but when cells rely too much on burning fat for fuel, they start producing ketones. Ketones are acids, and if the concentration of ketones in your blood gets too high, your blood is becoming too acidic, which can damage the body. This is where the term ketoacidosis come from, since it basically means that the ketones have caused your blood to become too acidic. DKA is one of the most serious complications of type 1 diabetes, and it happens when there is not enough insulin to let glucose into the cells. This usually happens because someone with diabetes isn't taking their insulin, though it can also happen if the insulin has gone bad, such as being in the heat for too long, or the injections aren't getting absorbed, often caused by injecting into scar tissue. Not having enough insulin also leads to high blood sugars, which is typically seen in someone at risk for going into DKA. Other symptoms of DKA include dry mouth, dry skin, feeling very thirsty, frequent urination, nausea or vomiting, weakness, fatigue, confusion, flushed face, headache, muscle aches, sweet smelling breath, belly pain, and shortness of breath. If someone has high blood sugars and some of these symptoms, it is important to check for DKA by measuring ketones in their urine. Ketone strips are fairly easy to use and can give you a rough estimate of the level of ketones in your body. Most doctors will recommend checking your ketones if your blood sugar rises above a certain point, usually around 250 to 300. Your doctor will give you a plan on what to do if you have elevated ketones, which will often include reaching out to them so they can help you get your sugars back under control. DKA is a very serious condition that can be life-threatening and have serious complications if it is not addressed. DKA can also often be mistaken for the flu or a simple stomach sickness, which is why it is very important to get medical help immediately if someone is experiencing those symptoms, and especially if their ketones are high. We're not going to go through all the terrible side effects and complications of DKA, but just believe me that you want to avoid it. If you do have DKA, you will probably be hospitalized. The doctors and nurses will give you insulin through an IV to bring your ketones and blood sugar down, as well as giving you fluids to keep you hydrated and to try and normalize your blood chemistry. Other treatments may include electrolyte replacement to replenish important minerals and keep your organs working properly, as well as additional screening to ensure that you aren't at risk for a heart attack if that is considered a likely complication. Luckily, there are many things that can be done to help prevent and reduce the chances of you suffering from DKA. Primarily, keep your blood sugars down. Ensuring that your cells have enough glucose to use and enough insulin to get it to them is the first and most important step in preventing DKA. There's not much that you need to do outside of treating your diabetes to prevent DKA. Assuming that you drink lots of water, follow a healthy meal plan and eating schedule, administer insulin as your doctor directs, and test your blood sugar regularly, then you're probably at a relatively low risk for DKA. Always consult with your doctor about your individual risk of DKA and what are the best treatment methods to help prevent it. Additionally, it is important to communicate with your friends and family and those around you to ensure that you have an emergency plan if you do suffer from DKA. The most important takeaway from this video is to always consult your doctor or another licensed medical professional if you have even the slightest indication that you might be suffering from DKA. If caught early, it is much more treatable and less dangerous. Hopefully this video was useful in learning more about DKA and how to prevent it, and as always, have a great day.